the College of Charleston Alumni Association and the Pre-Medical Society are proud to present the 2014 Outstanding Service Award in Medicine to Dr. Robert T. Ball, Jr., Class of 1966. Robert T. Ball, Jr., MD, MPH, a fellow in the American College of Physicians, College of Charleston Class of 1966. The college to me is hallowed ground because of the tradition, long and strong, in its various programs, but also because it serves as a core attraction for people to come back and keep coming back and sending their children and their grandchildren, and I hope that will continue for many generations to come. Being a seventh generation Charleston physician, my profession was nearly prescribed for me. Well, a funny thing happened on the way in that journey. In private practice, in 1982, I was in a position to diagnose and report the first AIDS case in South Carolina here in Charleston. The combination of factors in the 1980s regarding AIDS, discrimination, prejudice, there was a racial factor, but mostly it was anti-gay discrimination which led to the loss of so many of my patients. However, we were able to counter that with ongoing education of not only healthcare providers but also the general public. After all, the etymology of the word doctor derives from the Latin verb docere, which means to teach, not to heal. So I've always respected and admired those who taught me and wanted to emulate them. The good news is here at the College of Charleston that public health is the fastest growing major and minor here on campus. What public health is all about is giving our students a sense of community as opposed to being a physician with a one-on-one -on -one relationship with an individual patient, likewise a nurse or PA or nurse practitioner. But in public health, there's a very different, broader community, indeed global perspective. The college's awards, which honor many people in many fields, are indeed a tribute uh, for those who have spent time and given of their time, talents, and, and treasures to the College of Charleston. However, we should continue tithing and giving back to the community. And one of the ways in which I think that can be done is by education of students for several generations henceforth, because these young adults of today are going to be the leaders of tomorrow. My dream would be to have a cost-effective, single, statewide school of public health. And then I might think about retiring. I wish to thank the college and alumni association, the pre-med club, and all those involved uh, for the honor and privilege of this award.